Hi, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 8, part 2. In the previous video, which is part 1, we learned how to download DM data using the open topography. Today, we are going to learn how to use the SRTM downloader, which is a QGIS plugin, to download data for any part of the world that you need. So, let's get started. We'll open our QGIS and start a new project. So we have a blank project here. The first thing we do is we are going to bring some data in. So below here are the coordinates I'm going to type world in small letters, sorry. World. And it will bring the world shape file. So the next thing I want to do is I want to install some plugins. So I'm going to go to plugin manage and install plugins let bring all the plugins that are available in QGIS so I'll go to all then under the search I'll search for the SR, SRTM downloader you can see I have the SRTM downloader here and it tells me download SRTM files for NASA server so I'm going to install this plugin and you can see it has the, these are the number of downloads that it has so i'm going to install the plugin and it takes quite a very uh, short time to install and now the plugin has been installed successfully so that's one way of installing the srtm downloader another way that you can actually install srtm downloader is through a zip file so i can just open my browser in this case i'm going to use google chrome and then I'm going to look for the SRTM downloader plugin. And then I'll select the SRTM downloader plugin for QGIS. And then you can see the SRTM downloader is this here. So we're going to look at the details. The author of the plugin and then the version what is the current version that you're going to download you can see there is a current version that was actually uploaded on, on july 2020 at 4 50 a.m so it's the 3.16 and just select that first one there are actually others that you can actually use then you can see information about it but you just want to download it so i'm going to click on download and you can see i already downloaded so just say okay then i'll download it inside my plugins plugin folder where i have all my plugins in the js folder so i'll download it here you can see already i already have it here so i don't need to download it again so i'm just going to cancel but if you don't have it you can actually just download it again then we'll go to our qgis after the download we finish the download go to plugin manage and install plugins then first I will uninstall this plugin. I had already installed it. So we want to install it in a different way. So I'm going to install it from zip. You can see the plugin uninstalled successfully. So I want to install it again. So I'll come under the plugin manager. I'll come install from zip. Then I'll come and select where the plugin is and you can see the, the, the SRTM plugin this is actually the folder that I put all my plugins it should be a zip file so I'm going to click on open then I'm going to click on install it just take a few minutes and you'll see it has said plugin installed successfully so when I go to install plugins I have the SRTM downloader it is it installed so next we want to search for where we want to download our DEM data so I think I'll go to maybe say uh, let me just uh, label my my features here so that I know which country I want to select EM from. I'll just use the name. You can apply buffer here. Apply OK. And you can see I have Jamaica here, so I'm going to just select Jamaica. I'm going to select Jamaica. 
So I want the DEM of Jamaica. How do I get the DEM of Jamaica using the SRTM downloader? I'm going to go to the plugin. You can see we have the SRTM downloader here. So I'm going to select the SRTM downloader. And it will tell me that you can actually put the coordinates of what you want to be the, the most north, the most south, the most west, and the most east. But I'll just set it from canvas extent. I'll just take this canvas extent. When you're talking about the canvas extent, it means you just take the data that is just within this canvas, and which means it will cover the whole of Jamaica. So I'm just going to select set canvas extent, and it will select for me. You can see I selected for me the canvas extent. Then I'll just click on download. I can actually save it here if I, if I want. I can save it in a folder. So I can just look for a folder where I'm going to save it. I think I'm going to save it in the JS folder later. And I'm going to call it under raster data. I'm just going to say new folder here. And then I'm going to say Jamaica. DEM. Right? Then I'm going to just select that, that folder. And I'm going to use that Jamaica DEM as my folder. So I'm going to now click on download. I think it has told me there's six images in progress. Then it will just start downloading. Now, if it prompts you this, then it means you haven't actually gotten a, an, an, an account with the at data. So what you do is you can just click on, on that link up there. And since you're a new user, just take a few minutes to come up. You can put a username. You can see already you have my username. I, you can put a username, a password, then confirm your password. And always, always be reading the information that has, is in this side. Then the first name, the mid, last name. These ones that are actually in red cells are the most, the ones that are actually uh, required. So you can write your first name, your last name, your email address, your country affiliations if you're a government if, you're, if it's for the education you can just select education it doesn't really matter then the study study area you can just select whichever area you are in then you can say yes i'm interested in this data then i acknowledge here yeah, just then you say you are not a robot i'm not a robot then you click on register so once you register you'll get a confirmation or registration in your email address so we can go back here and i can put my username and my user, that's my new my username and i just put my password which is that then i can save the credentials if i want to just be logging in every time then i click on okay and you can see now it's that's oh sorry i think i put the wrong password Okay, that's the right password now. And it will continue downloading your data. You can see it's downloading my data here. So I'm going to leave it to download. And you can see it has downloaded all my data for Jamaica. So we are going to click on close. So it has told me the download is complete. I say okay. Now this is my DM data of Jamaica. If I uncheck, you can see it is in tiles. So if you want to use this data for the whole of Jamaica, you can just go to now. We want to do what we want to do is we want to merge all this data so that it's when it it's show, it shows up shows up as one data, not as uh, different tiles. You can see if I uncheck here, these are different tiles. So what I will do is I will merge all these. And how do you merge in QGIS? You come to raster, then you go to miscellaneous, then you click on merge because you want to merge rasters. So you select merge and it will ask you, what do you want to merge? I'll just click on this here, the input. 
and I'll select all of them because I want to merge all of them. Then I will click on run to merge them and it will start merging them. And now you can see I have one file here called merge. I said merge finished. So I'm going to close this. Then I'm just going to remove all the other files. All the other files. Oh, sorry. I'll not remove the merge. Actually, I'll, I'll pull the merge up. Then I just remove all the other files. I remain with my merge file and this is the DEM of Jamaica the temporary layer so I can just change some of the properties here I'm going to, and, and I want to change the symbology so that you can actually see this layer much better so it's currently a the color gradient is a black and white so what I will do is I want to change the rendering type to single band pseudo color then I'll use a color ramp I can decide to use this color ramp but I want to actually use the, the, the color ramp of topography so I'm just going to click on this drop down arrow here and I'm going to create a new color ramp and I'm going to select instead of gradient I'm going to select the catalog CPTCT and I say okay it will bring me all the presets of color ramps And what I'm dealing, you can see there's all color ramps, there's, but the, there's the blue, the disco, the green, the grays, the QGs, the pre precipitation. If you want to, you're dealing with pre precipitation data, but I'm dealing with topography. So I'm going to select topography. Then there is one default for elevation. So I'm going to select that elevation. I'm just going to say OK. And then I'm going to leave my classes to five. And then I'm going to click on classify. And then I'm going to click on apply OK. And you can see I have actually classified that. And now you can see the higher areas which are above 2,232 meters are the darker regions. So when I zoom in, I can actually tell that these are the darker areas. And then the, the lower areas are the ones that are in light blue, which is the ocean. Is the ocean. So that's how you download DEM data for, for any region in the world using the, the SRTM downloader. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in the next lesson.